Hey, this is your girl Dr. Leah, and I want to say to you, to all my viewers that actually watch me on Twitch and on Listen to Me on Listen to Us Radio, you see how that's on Listen to Me on Listen to Us Radio on Tuesdays on Pillow Talk. Each week, I give you a review of what our topic was for those who miss it. We have very intriguing topics, we have very sexual topics, very open topics. We discuss things, it's a grown radio platform. Now, on Tuesday, we were talking about the tone of voice when speaking to a intimate partner. Yes, tone of voice. Some people intend to shout. You don't shout at your partner. Unless you're shouting to protect them, to tell them that there's danger ahead. Bring it down. Bring it down. Now, let me come, let me come closer so I can talk to you. When speaking to an intimate partner, remember, respect is number one. Put the love aside remember respect is number one if somebody is your priority you do not break your priority there's a course of prioritizing now with that said let's get back to your tone of voice if you're angry keep calm if you're feeling a certain way that you don't know how to explain it calm it down let your mind process what you're about to say because a bad word said cannot be a good word tomorrow my mom always said to me keep your words soft and sweet just in case you have to eat them back you know I was a teenager when she was saying all of that I didn't understand much I was like so sometime when she turns her back I'd be like keep your words now as an adult I understand that word for word and I preach it also it's like saying practice what you preach yes I practice that if I know the words that are coming out of my mouth are going to hurt you I will refrain from saying them but if my intention is to hurt you I won't now when it comes down to your partner you want to be mindful that this is a person that I'm gonna have to talk to later I am going to want to talk to this person and when disrespect comes on the table it doesn't leave Disrespect can be covered with I am sorry and the excuses. But think about it. Couldn't you prevent that from happening? Your partner is your priority. Your partner is your priority. Your partner is your priority. Prioritize correctly. Respect, appreciation, and then we can talk about love. Yeah, we can talk about love after. Show respect or they say they want to tell you what earn respect. No. Have enough sense to know that when you enter somebody's life, you're going to respect them. If they allow you to lose respect for them, after being with them, that's different. But watch your tone. Watch what you say. Be humble. Even the Bible said, a soft answer will turn it away wrong. Do I need to say more than that? I don't think so. So on Tuesday nights, it's Pillow Talk with Dr. Lee. I'm aired on Listen to Us Radio from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Feel free to call in. The numbers to call in is 954-947-1664. Or you can send us a message in the chat room and we'll be fun. We'll, we'll read it. I will read it. I will read it, you know. I like hearing people's story of love and whatever. But I like hearing when people respect their partners. Don't take, and another thing, and this is one of the things we spoke about a few weeks ago when we said protecting your partner. Do not bring your business of your relationship when it is really, really bad to the entire public. Meaning, leave social media out of your personal life and go back to watching your tone and what you say all i'm going to say from right now go follow my page on instagram at dr leo underscore i think some something like that just watch your tone your tone is important believe me you want to watch that tone and what you say out of your mouth it's important anything you say can't go back so why say it and then go say sorry you don't mean sorry you wanted to say it you just didn't know i would feel a certain type of way so watch your mouth if you're angry 
calm down. If you're not sure, calm down. If you <laughs> feeling indifferent, check yourself. Don't hurt somebody else because you want to sound your feet and how to control yourself. Be mindful of that.